folks this is guruji online we are going to do some more problems today let us see suppose you have a spring balance and you have a mass m so what will be the reading of this spring balance what is the reading of spring balance we have one situation like this another situation suppose you are having a ball and one table is there one pulley is there and this spring balance is like this again the same mass you are having here and it is this spring balance is attached to this wall another situation we can have this table is there we have two pulleys here and here the spring balance is there and we have same mass attached here so let us see in these different situations what will be the reading of spring balance so first of all we have to understand what will be the reading of spring balance basically this rope is there this rope is there what will be the tension in this rope suppose tension t is there here tension t is there here tension t is there here in the first situation if we draw the free body diagram of this mass this t will be there and this will be mg so what will be the t t will be nothing but mg so reading will be mg in this case also p if we 
draw the free, free body diagram then here also T will be equal to mg. So in both these situations the reading will be same. Let us analyze this situation. In this case also what will be T? T will be either from this free body, free body diagram or from this free, free body diagram T will be M into G. So, in all these situations, the reading will be same. Now, we will go to the next problem. This problem was simple, but sometimes the people get confused. In this problem, suppose this rope is one branch is there, rope is going like this and one chair is there and one man is sitting in this box and he is holding this rope. He is holding this rope. Suppose the total mass of this is M. Naturally, a downward force will be Mg. We have to find out by what force? By what force the man should pull the rope so that it goes with constant velocity another question in in this type of situation can be by what force the man should pull the rope? So that man 
accelerates upwards with acceleration a third situation third question so what force pulley suppose this is this is not branch this is basically pulley and it is attached to the ceiling why by what force pulley what force pulley is exerting or the ceiling now let us solve this that this man is sitting in this cart and he is holding the rope and he is exerting force on this rope so that it can move upwards or can move upwards with a constant velocity so suppose if we cut here what will happen here this t in this rope this t and what is the downward force that is mg okay so we can write our equations as 2 t minus m g equal to m a in the first case m is given in the first case basically it is going with constant velocity means a is equal to 0 that means 2t is equal to mg or t is equal to mg divided by 2 m we know g we know divided by 2 that means with this force it has to pull so that it can it lift itself with constant velocity in the second case it is saying that acceleration is a now acceleration is given that means we can easily find out minus mg is equal to ma here a is also given m is given g is g we know so t is nothing but m g plus a upon 2 now third question is what force pulley is exerting on the ceiling naturally if we draw the free body diagram of pulley then we are that means this third force will be equal to 2t this is the force it will be exerting on the 
ceiling. I hope this was this is clear. Next question, next question is, suppose you have a balloon, You have a person inside this and mass is there. Suppose this mass is total mass is M. Now this balloon is going down with acceleration A. This balloon is there which is going down with acceleration A and it has got a mass of M. Now the question is how much mass this man should drop so that the balloon moves upward with acceleration A means A you, you are given but it is coming down. When it, you will drop the mass, naturally this will be this this will be lighter, and a, a position will come that it will start moving upward. So how much mass this man should drop so that the balloon should start moving with acceleration with the same acceleration upward. So, in this case, suppose upward force is F. Now, this remains constant because balloon is exerting a force. What is changing is the mass. So, our equation will be M G 
माइनस एफ इजिकल टू एम ए सपोज इट ड्रॉप्स द it drops mass of m bash then what will be the final mass m will be nothing but m minus m when this becomes this m changes to this m this starts moving with acceleration a that in that equation in that situation our equation will be f now it is since it is going upwards means f minus m g is equal to m Okay. If we bring this equation here, m g minus f is equal to m a M minus M it is basically G is equal to M plus M A. Now we can substitute M minus this is M minus M dash. G is equal to M plus sorry M minus M dash plus M this is A here. This M and this M cancels out. This becomes plus M dash G is equal to M. Sorry, this is this is basically M. Two M minus M dash. That is A. Or we have to find M. M dash. We have to find M dash. That means M dash will be nothing but. You bring it here, then it will be equal to m a upon a plus g. So this is the answer. I hope you understood this. Now we will go to another problem, which is like this. One table is there. Pulley is there. Yeah. 
when mass is there suppose this is attached to a pulley another mass is there and here also suppose this is m a m c this is m b all are different masses m a is not equal to m b is not equal to m c here <coughs> suppose m c is greater than m a in this case what will be the acceleration with which mc will go down here actually masses are different so tension in this side and tension in this side will be different like suppose this is t and this will be t dash acceleration what will cause the acceleration acceleration will be caused by the force due to difference in these two masses so mc downward force will be here mcg minus ma g this is the unbalanced force force divided by mass will give you acceleration but what which mass we have to divide basically we have to take this as a isolated system then mass will be basically m a plus m b plus m c all these three all will come together because all these three they come in picture when the mc mass starts going down and it is going up so a will be basically this is our answer suppose you are asked what is t so t is nothing but you know a so what will be the suppose if we this is going by a what will be the free free body diagram will be m c 
it is t it is going by a actually this will be m c g so this will be m a force so since it is going down so m c g minus t will be equal to this m c a m c a a we know from this m c we already know g we know then we can find out uh, t as m c g minus m c a So I hope you understood this problem a little bit different. Now we will go to the next problem. In this problem, you have a pulley and with this rope is there and you are attached with a bucket. This water is there. Mass of this water is 2 kg. You have a weight here. And this has 3 kg mass. Naturally, this will, it is heavier, so this will go down, the bucket will go up. The question is, suppose this bucket is leaking, with Point two kg per second is water is letting leaking at the rate of point two kg per second. So we have to find out the rate of change of acceleration at t is equal to 0 and t is equal to suppose 3 seconds. This is this will be going with the acceleration of a. 
what will be the circulation? Suppose you forget the leaking part, then what is our? Suppose this is this is M one, this is M two. Then what our general equations? T minus M one G is equal to M one A and M two G minus T is equal to M two A. That means if we solve this. A is the thing, but M two minus M one G upon M one plus M two. Got it? Now. What is d a by d t? D a by d t. We know rate of change of acceleration. Actually, we have to find out this. We have to find out this. This can be written as d a by d m into d m by d t now with this the problem looks simpler d m by d t is given like this d a by d m we can find out from this If you differentiate this d a by d m, sorry d a by d m, it will be basically this is m one which is Leaking, so this will be nothing but minus two m two g upon m one plus m two. This you can do yourself. This will come like this. So, d a by d t is nothing but minus two m two g upon m one plus m one plus m two into d m one upon d t. So here you can put the values. When t is equal to zero, this will be nothing but two into m two is three into nine point eight upon. At t is equal to zero, it is two kg two plus three into d m one by d t. It is basically since it is uh, uh, coming out 
the this is reducing it is leaking basically so this is this will be minus 0 0.2 so you can solve this basically it will be a square Now at t is equal to 3 second dA by dt will be nothing but minus 2 into 3 into 9.8 upon now this m1 will change because uh, after 3 second what will be m1? 2 minus 0.2 into 3. This is plus this is 3, then it will be equal to the square into Again, minus 0 0.2. So, this will give you the answer. So, dear friends, this was a little tricky problem, but it was not that was difficult so we will bring you more and more problems like this in future so keep coming back to this channel and spend your little time here to have the exposure of these kind of problems thank you very much Thank you.